So this is the hydrogen Hummer, huh? So then your butterfly changes the profile. So are you running on pure hydrogen with this, or is it kind of uh, Well, I, when I moved it across the parking lot, it was on gasoline. By the time I get out to the uh, street, um, it switches to natural gas. Oh, okay, okay. And then, uh, and then if I reconfigure it under the hood here and open up a different valve, yes, then I am running on pure hydrogen. It oh, takes me a okay. few minutes, and I won't show you how I do it. So this will do any of them, though, huh? So <laughs> huh? You, it runs on all three, then, huh? Five. Five? Yeah. Well, what are the other? Bi well, I guess biodiesel probably wouldn't work, right? No, no, they're not biodiesel. The, uh, uh, the, the favorite chosen fuel uh, would be uh, the, uh, we call it HCNG. It's a blend of hydrogen and natural gas. Oh, okay. And that reduces the emissions from natural gas imperceptible levels and it raises the power up beyond gasoline mm. and it puts the mileage right between them so how much do modifications to because i know the hummer 2 itself is what sixty thousand dollars truck something like that well this was the you know, listed at uh, 50 so is low 50s uh it was purchased at the end of the model year uh after you know the the dealer had switched the leather and the third seat out and uh, and it was a bargain. Yeah. <laughs> well, but the, the conversion itself, then, how much? How much? That was that fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Another fifty. Well, yeah, you know, the first of any any series, you know, the prototype is expensive. You know, if you get paid for your time, uh, the you know the engineering, the uh, the bracketry, and the uh, you know, just the product, you know, component location, and you know, component compatibility. Now, is this a service that you perform for other people with Hummer twos? They wanted to this, bring it uh, this is the second Hummer I've done. The first one was a diesel, and it was an entirely different procedure. Uh, my son's truck has got the analog system, you know, that does the same job, but it does it, uh, you know, with springs and uh, diaphragms instead of uh, uh, injectors in the ACU. But it does essentially the same job. So we've proven, you know, you can go either way. Yeah, yeah. You can do it cheaper. You can spend the money. Interesting stuff. Well, you know, so if somebody brought their vehicle in, you think it would cost, is it still around 50000 or is it? Depends on which fuels you specify, you know. You know, this one was its five fuels, it's a little more. Yeah, so you have to switch uh, around. If somebody came in and specifically wanted hydrogen, you know, we would have to give them a natural gas system first. Well, what, but we wouldn't have to calibrate it to natural gas. Now, you guys are, you get pretty good mileage with this, right? Isn't it comparable to, uh, comparable to gasoline in terms Way of mileage? Better. Way better? Almost doubles it. With now, hydrogen. Now, do you have a power loss with the hydrogen? Yes. So they've said it's about 50%? Yeah, yeah I, you know, it, it's hard to say, you know, without, uh, you know, it hasn't been on a uh, power dyno, it's only been on an emission dyno. Oh, okay. But, yeah, seat of the pants, I'd say it's, you know, a third to half loss. But by, by using the HCN, was it HCN5 or whatever? HCNG. HCNG, and, and that makes that up That takes it that. back over gasoline power. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's then a you sweet get a fuel. Horsepower boost then, huh? Yes. Interesting. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's the one that a lot of research is being done on now, you know, different facilities. And then uh, Frank Lynch is the one that kind of came up with the, with the concept. He's from Denver, and, uh, and he patented the term hythane, which he has sold. And I don't think I'm even supposed to say that word. <laughs> so you can really, you know, I had some fun with it last winter. I pulled a, a, a float in the parade, and then after the parade, they put a couple of feet of snow on the road, and I was doing donuts in the low lock. And this thing is fun. And it was running, I was running a high thing blend on that for that. Oh, and then you had more than gas in terms of power. Yeah, so I had some serious horsepower, full low lock, you know, so the ability to do donuts was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Lay down some snow. For does, it, does, does it take getting used to the difference in power depending on what you're running? You know? It sorts it all out on its own. Well, yeah, the reason I ask is I'm almost paranoid when I get in my car, right? It feels like it's losing power today. I don't know why. It just uh, it's that, you know what I well, mean? Well, you know, I feel that, you know, when I was driving uh, the other day, it was over 100 degrees and I was running on natural gas. And, you know, at 80 miles an hour, I was feeling it was weak. You know, but you know, I'm still going 80 miles an hour. How much do you, how fast do you want to go, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do, do they have a, do they put a red line in these? Oh, I think that Dodge does. I don't know if it's 80 or 90. I think it's 85. I don't know. Now, if I had it going 100, I'd be foolish. They sent a guy who worked at a car lot. He drove a big Dodge Dakota or something like that. I think. I think that was the model. And, uh, of course, you know, he's like the lot attendant guy. So I, 
gave me a lift. He was like, let's see how fast I can go. I go, exactly 85. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, yeah it was a fuel yeah, injection gotta, system. Got to cut off, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of cars do that, you know, now. But, you know, the, the, the performance cars, you know, they're usually up at like 130, 140. And I don't think this has got one. You know, I haven't explored that. Uh, the first Hummer we did was an H1. And, uh, you know. The well, big one. Yeah, and with the bio, it was a diesel, you know, of course. But, you know, it was a, it was a worn out diesel that we resurrected with biodiesel and uh, and hydrogen fumigation. And that car would, you know, so you it went it. from a 40 mile an hour car, you know, with petroleum diesel to a 50 mile an hour car with uh, biodiesel. And then fumigated with hydrogen, it'd go well over 100. So you did a pilot diesel with that? 